uh, we are back on the, uh, I don't even have a name for it, the off-road mower, all-terrain mower. I'll figure out a name for it. If you guys can think of a name, comment below. Um, I don't know, might use it, might not, hard to say. Um, but uh, in today's video, uh, we're going to be, I actually went ahead and did the spark plug and did a check on it, see if it had spark, and yes, this motor does have spark. Uh, today I'm going to be applying the starter to it and uh, getting it ready to drop down into this. It is kind of late at night, so I probably won't get a good fire on it. I, I might be able to get a quick test fire on it, but I'm not going to let it run. So uh, hang tight, and uh, I'll be right back. Here we are, we're back again, and right here we're going to be trying to safely put a starter on without losing it. Okay, so here we are. I went ahead and got them in there just a little bit, and I'll go ahead and tighten them up on camera. I um, had to grab a wrench, so tighten these up here, throw this extra up here. There we go. There's one side. On the other side, I can get it with the ratchet, but it's uh, like someone's lighting off Canarite. It's just a little bit easier to do it with a ratchet, ratchet wrench. So get everything to stay where it's supposed to, and it'll be all right. So I thought it'd be easier with the rest wrench. Ah! Alright. Went to a half, er, hmm. Use your hands. Helps out. Alright, now maybe I can get the rest wrench. Oh yeah, there we go. It's, uh, it amazes me. I have done probably a hundred of these starters in the last few years. And every time I forget how I do it. Right, I'll just go ahead and snug this one up too. Oh, there we go. All right, so uh, next on this video, I am going to be, I'm going to drop the pulley down here. I know you guys can't see that. Uh, I got to drop the pulley to set the engine on the uh, on the tractor. Um, so I'm going to be doing that next and hopefully wiring it up at least. Um, I got to do some modification for the battery case because I swapped it out and gave it the one way that went on it. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing that next. Oh. I gotta do something about this um, thing that holds the the dipstick tube on. Um, actually, I better do that before I ever drop anything off. Which I think what I'm gonna have to do is take this off. I'll take my marker and I'll take my marker and put a little dot here, a little dot over here. And I'll take the casing off, and I'll take my step bit I got, and just tap a tiny hole in it on each side. And then, I'm pretty sure I can run a zip tie through it, and it ain't going to hurt nothing internally. So, we'll try it anyhow, and if it doesn't work, then I guess we'll do something different. Maybe, maybe I should just tap a hole right here. There's already a tiny hole here. Here we are. I got my zip tie. got my wire snips. I use cut zip ties with um, typically if I was doing this for a customer I wouldn't I wouldn't do this I wouldn't use a zip tie to hold this in place but Ben as it is for me and it's just a something to support this until I find the correct thing that goes on here which it's like a it's like a clamp it sets like this it holds it in place 
which I wouldn't be able to use anyhow because uh, the pull rope is in the way. Um, but other than that, yeah, this will work just fine. All right, so here we are. I got my drill master to do this with, so. All right, let's see if that hole is gonna be big enough. It looks like it's gonna be. Oh yeah, it's just a perfect, perfect little snug fit, so. far from it but that's okay it's just going to be there as support so we'll take this end slide it in there like so let's get the oil dipstick out of the way for now until we get this in there right don't want to have to take this off to do this so and you might be saying hey man he's using an awfully big zip tie for that why didn't he use a smaller one well this is all I got so uh, smallest size I've got anyhow but it'll work sufficient so, anyways, push that back down in there like so, and you take this, take that like so, oh yeah, perfect clearance, ain't gonna go anywhere, it's in there nice and tight, so, Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's see, we did the starter. I did the breather off camera. I did the spark plug check and the uh, to see if it had fire. And I'll probably do another check for that here in a little bit. Again, um, this big muffler. Whereas it'll probably be useful to a point. I actually have plans for a different muffler. So I'm going to take this off. Um, I got a muffler that came off of a Yamaha 250. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and I'll have to have that welded and stuff afterwards. But for now, uh, I'll go ahead and mock everything else up that I need. And we might get one little compression fire test out of it. I actually don't have any gas laying around, but I could siphon some gas out of my other tractor, one of my other tractors. So. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, I'll cut back here in a second. I'm gonna have to get these little things off here or find a tool to do it with. So, might actually just show you guys how to do that if I know how to do it. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and remove this muffler. I'll try to, anyhow. Hopefully, this ratchet will do it. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and break them loose first, and we'll start working them over, pulling them off. Get them a little bit looser, and I think I can get them by hand, so... This probably is a good, good muffler, and I may use it in something later on down the road, then again, I might just say piss on it, and get rid of it there we go there's the bolts don't know these are half inch these two here and then this uh, third one is going to be three eighths, and uh, let's see here. 
Lefty Lucy. Go ahead and pop that sucker off there. There we go. Uh, what did I do with my magnet bowl? I don't know what I done. I'll just lay them down there. There we go. There's that. And actually, if you look at it, <coughs> this has actually been off before. Someone broke it. Um, there is pieces of it inside the exhaust hole, so we'll want to clean that out anyhow, so yep, there we go. Uh, the plastic piece that goes onto this carburetor to where the gas flows in is missing also. Um, I think I have another carburetor like this with one on it, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look around and see, so uh, hang tight on that, and uh, I'll get back with you on that. Um, here in a minute, I'll just go ahead and do a test fire and show you guys that it runs. So, or not test fire, but a spark check. So hopefully you guys can see it. Here we are. This is my spark tester and all that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this overhead light off so it's a little bit darker here. And you should be able to see it a little bit better. Sorry for the darkness otherwise. Oop. Oh yeah, look at that flash. Good flash on it. So yeah. Anyhow, uh, that's a good engine. That sucker's solid. It's got great compression on it. So I think she'll be a good runner for this project. Um, I'll have to look around for that plastic piece I was talking about, but hang tight and I'll be right back. So anyways, uh, as you've seen before, we tested the fire on it. You, it. I hope that showed up on the camera really good. I believe it did. Uh, it lit up big and orange and bright, so we know it has great spark. Um, the exhaust, had, I gotta do some cleaning on it, which I gotta get a wire brush for. I'm gonna just kinda lightly clean it out. Uh, the starter that you, that I put on came off of a the tin horse that this, this uh, snapper uh, pull rope came off of um, so and I know it was good at that time it might not be good now but we'll find out uh, but if anything we got the pull rope so it doesn't matter it should start off of that um, I went ahead and dropped the uh, pulley that was on the bottom so it's off there I did that off camera I didn't think that was a big deal I figure you guys have done that before so uh, other than that, um, if you'd like to follow my builds, uh, you can see pictures on uh, Garage Kit. It's a Facebook group that I created, um, currently grown at uh, 144 members as of right now, and getting bigger every day, one or two at a time, but still, uh, you're welcome to click that link below in the description and uh, add yourself to that group. I usually accept it pretty quick unless I'm asleep. so. Bear with me if you don't get accepted right away, but you will. Uh, also, uh, if you want to support my channel, uh, you can go to patreon.com. The link will be in the description below. And also, uh, you can uh, go to Instagram uh, forward slash damn Hoosier, all lowercase, with, uh, and that link will be in the description below. Uh, smash that like button comment give me your feedback uh, i'm still trying to think of a name for the uh off-road tractor um so yeah i believe that's it uh thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for part three it's coming uh, it'll be in about a week so thanks a lot have a good night